Morning BC. This is going to be kind of an unboxing from Acoustic Sounds. Uh, this was my Christmas present records this year. I got these two days ago. I have opened the box. These were triple box. This was a box in a box in a box. This is from Acoustic Sounds. Those guys do a great job. They're located in Salina, Kansas. Highly recommended. Uh, they got great customer service. Originally, I'm a farm boy from western Kansas. You call Acoustic Sounds. Corn-fed farm girl answers the phone and takes care of whatever your issues might be. They can't be beat. First record. Need to talk about most of these records. Elton John, Yellow Brick Road, everybody knows this record. This record is a 2014 remaster by Bob Ludwig and from the original analog tapes and mastered for vinyl by Doug Sachs of the Mastering Lab. I've mentioned him in a previous video. He passed away last year. Uh, this 180 gram audio file quality vinyl uh, pressed at uh, I think it was RTI. One of my pet peeves here download card. This record came out three or four years ago. The download cards expired. This was a fairly expensive record. You buy expensive record, this is ridiculous that the download cards expire. Shouldn't make any difference. Got a super high quality record here, but I listen a lot in the car on my iPod, and I like to load all that stuff in the computer, then I put them all on my iPod. Makes it easy to listen when I'm on long road trips. Next album. Everybody will know this one. Blood, Sweat, and Tears, two disc set, 45 RPM, 180 gram vinyl, pressed at RTI, limited numbered edition, mastered from the original master tapes by Bernie Grunman. Um, we know this is good. This is uh, my first and only Blood, Sweat, and Tears record. Uh, I know this one of their big hit records. I'm really looking forward to this. Same thing with the Elton John. That's the only Elton John record I've got probably don't need any more. Next record. Hot Club of San Francisco. Yerba Buena Bounce with special guest David Grisman. Reference recording. Half speed master. 200 gram virgin vinyl. Again, I know this is going to be really good. This is probably a little more in my wheelhouse than a lot of this other music. Uh, gypsy jazz, kind of a Django Reinhardt type stuff. Of course, this is a new recording, so uh, sound quality is going to be outstanding. And uh, I have listened to a download of this. I know that's really good. Julie is her name. Julie London. Original analog mono, 180 gram, 45 RPM, two LPs, uh, a numbered limited edition. Uh, one of the things I mentioned in my introductory video, my dad was uh, listening to a lot of music and I remember a number of records from when I was a little kid, but two in particular. Julie London, Cry Me a River, I've remembered that tune, that recording all of these years. The other one was Lena Horne with Stormy Weather. He had lots of other kinds of music, so I was looking forward to getting this super high quality recording of Cry Me a River, which is one of the tunes on here. say anything about this in the VC. Everybody knows the Doors. My first Doors recording. I don't know if this will be my last. Again, this is uh, recorded original master tapes, quality record pressings. 
unmatched quality control, quality records pressing. Uh, this is a super high quality. Uh, I've been listening a lot to Rock and Ronnie. That's Ron Beaudry's channel on the VC. He gets a number of different pressings and then talks about which one sounds the best. So he's responsible for me spending all of this my Christmas money on these super high quality audiophile records. Mostly we listen to music and it sounds like music, but once in a while we get that great sounding record, we really enjoy it. And I want to have a few records that I know the audio file quality is going to be great. Somebody comes over, you want to show them how good vinyl sounds, how good stereo sounds, which most people haven't heard for years. I want to make sure I've got a record to put on that I know is going to deliver. In the same vein, most everybody knows this, been shown a number of times. Cat Stevens, T for the Tiller Man, again, quality records pressing from the original master tapes. Uh, don't remember if this was a numbered edition or not. This one is touted as being one of the highest quality packaging by Analog Productions, where uh, the jacket and everything is just as good as it can get in audio. And uh, I did listen to Cat Stevens back in the day when he was still in America, so I know that I like Cat Stevens. This is just a regular record. Curtis Mayfield. There's no place like America today. As I've mentioned in my introductory video, one of Alan Zweig's documentary vinyl, I've probably watched 8, 10, 12 times. I love that. This was his favorite record. I've listened to this. I know I'm going to like this. And uh, a lot of the records that were shown in that video, I probably have to have just because they were part of the video. I love this cover. This cover says a lot, doesn't it? And uh, the music's good, and this is my first Curtis Mayfield record, uh, but uh, I'm going to get some more. There's no question about that. My last record. Isaac Hayes, Theme from Shaft, Soulsville and Do Your Same. Thing on Stax Records. This is mastered at Acoustech, 45 RPM, pressed at quality records, and other high quality sound. There's only three tunes on this record, two tunes on side one, and side two is a 19 minute version of Do Your Thing. Uh, Isaac Hayes, Lester Sneal, James Alexander, Michael Tolles, Willie Hall. Jerry Jones. This is going to be a real good record and I wait, can't wait to listen to this one. So that was my Christmas for 2015. Hope you all had a great Christmas. See ya.